In a previous video, I showed how to turn a fuzzy green video of Jupiter into a really nice sharp image using the free software called Registax. At the very end of the video, I showed how to adjust the color to something more natural. In this video, I want to spend a little more time explaining how to get the color right. I will show you how you can turn your green Saturn into this, just by using Registax. Before doing that though, I would like to point out that it is possible to get rid of the green while taking the image. Here is a typical AVI video of Saturn. After a few months and much iteration, I now get something like this. If your webcam software allows you to adjust the color setting for red, green, and blue individually, then it makes sense to capture the image in a more natural color. The problem is that it is really hard to get it right. By visiting the Cloudy Nights Astronomy Forum, I've noticed that just about every image taken with the Next Image 5 camera looks excessively green. This gives me hope that all our cameras are the same and can be fixed using the same RGB values. In iCap, the software that controls the Next Image 5, select Properties from the Device menu. Here is where you control the color. I used to uncheck the Color Enhancement Enable checkbox. But now I keep it checked, and instead I change the color values. For red, I use 108. For green, I use 88. And for blue, I use 126. It took me two months to get these values, and I would love to hear how they work for you. Please leave a comment telling us what you find works best. If I learn more, I'll let you know by updating the video description. I have seen a lot of images on cloudy nights forums of Jupiter and Saturn that are green and dim. It appears that they went through all the steps needed to get a really good image, but stopped just before doing two more things that really make a difference. If you open a single image JPEG with Registax, it takes you to the Wavelet tab. I'm going to assume all the sharpening stuff on the left has been done, and show you the two things that really matter. You start with histogram. We want to chop off this big bump here on the left. This is the background and we want to make sure it's pure black. We also want to bring this slider in from the right, but it's not obvious sometimes where to put that until after you chop off the thing on the left. Now it becomes obvious where this right slider goes. And this solves the problem of a dim planet. The next thing we do is RGB balance. Simply press the auto balance button and you get rid of the green planet. If you have the correct color settings on your camera, this step won't be necessary. The color values I gave you for the Next Image 5 camera are so close to perfect that this auto balance feature doesn't change anything. Now just press do all and save your image. I have one final observation. It seems to me that you want to do this wavelet stuff on the left first before doing the stuff on the right. If you then go back and play with the wavelets, you can make things worse. Also, the order you do things on the right matter. I start with the histogram and work your way across and down. You definitely don't want to do RGB balance before histogram. 